टुडे वी शैल टॉक अबाउट द अर्थमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन अर्थमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन वी कुड से इट अर्थमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन इज अ प्रोग्रेशन इन विच डिफरेंस बिटवीन प्रिसीडिंग टर्म प्रिसीडिंग टर्म एंड इट्स previous term is always constant so the ap the earth the terms of ap is written in the form of a a plus d a plus 2d a plus 3d so we can easily observe that the first term is a second term is a plus d and third term is a plus 2d so in each term the difference is the common difference is always n minus 1 so the last term of the ap would be that we could uh, say it is tn or last term l equal to tn equal to a plus n minus 1 into d the common difference of ap could be d greater than 0 or d less than 0 and d greater than equal to 0 an nth term of ap is always occur in linear form in linear form that is that is an plus b means nth term of an ap is always occur in linear form we could simply uh, we could easily simplify the formula of tn so tn equal to a plus n minus 1 into d where a is first term where a is first term n n represents nth term and d means common difference so we could easily called it the nth term would be the last term of ap so tn could be written as l so we could write it when we simplify it further l equal to a plus n minus 1 into d so when we transpose it l minus a is equal to n minus 1 into d so l minus a by d equal to n minus 1 so n equal to l minus a by d plus 1 that is the formula which we could use to find out the number of terms in ap so what is the difference between terms and its values if if i write first term means a so if there is a ap 2 4 6 8 so its a first term is 2 second term is Four and third term is six. So we could easily see see that that the uh, value of terms is independent. Means if I if any person or we could say that the third term the value of third term is six. So uh, <coughs> this is the basic uh, terms of AP. The general formula we could uh, uh, which is used it. So the question which is asked on that. if mth term if mth term of an ap is a 1 by n and mth term is 1 by m then find m plus nth term of ap so we could write it mth term means tm which is a plus m minus 1 into d equal to 1 by n when we write tn so a plus n minus 1 into d equal to 1 by m when we use subtraction formula so this a would be cancelled so we could write it m minus 1 sorry m minus 1 into d minus n minus 1 into d equal to 1 by 
n minus 1 by m so <coughs> when we take a d as a common when we multiply it so m d minus d minus uh, we could write it uh, n d minus d so when we write it uh, m d minus d and minus n d plus d so minus d and plus d would be cancelled so when we take d as a common so d m minus n so n further we will simplify 1 by n minus 1 by n we take lcm as a mn so m minus n so we could write m minus n equal to so m minus n by m n so m minus n and m minus m would be cancelled and d equal to 1 by m m n so when we put d in first equation we will get the answer of a further in uh, putting the value of d in equation in any equation whichever you want to put in the value it's not mandatory but we simplify i am taking the equation first so a plus m minus 1 into d is 1 by mn equal to 1 by n so in further solving we could write it a plus m minus 1 by mn equal to 1 by n and uh, a equal to when we transpose it um, that would be 1 by n minus m minus 1 by mn so a equal to 1 by n and when we solve it minus and uh, m plus 1 by mn so the LCM would be mn so when we divide it uh, that would be m minus uh, m plus 1 so minus n m plus n would be cancelled and a would be 1 by mn so we, we now we have the a and d both the value now we could uh, we have to find the m plus ns term of a p the question is m plus ns term of a p so if we have to find the m plus ns term of a p just we put the value of a and d which is uh, uh, a equal to 1 by mn and d similarly 1 by mn so that the equation is a plus m plus n minus 1 into d equal to and uh, the answer would be when we simplify it a is 1 by mn plus m plus n minus 1 by mn then we simplify it that uh, 1 by mn plus m plus n minus 1 because we could easily see that the LCM of the term is mn then mn mn is same and the LCM of mn is mn so 1 plus m plus n minus 1 then minus 1 and plus 1 would be cancelled that the answer would be m plus n by mn this is the final answer the m, m plus n as term of the AP so this is the solution that very important question which is asked in the examination and if you do like subscribe and share if you like the question and concept